Welcome to the World Travel Multimedia YouTube channel. In this Kerry Ireland tour guide video, we explore this leading travel destination with you to help you make the most of your travel experiences. We present you with an amazing virtual tour of all the eye-catching sites at this destination. In addition, we give you some essential travel-related information and leading recommendations you need. We hope you truly enjoy both this video and your travel adventure to this stunning location. Some of the key information we cover on Kerry Ireland are location-specific details, history, culture, cuisine and fun facts. In addition, we share leading recommendations on suggested activities such as pubs, restaurants, local sites, transportation options, hotels and travel tips. We are excited to bring you this video and location information, so be sure to see the other related videos in this series for more travel tips, cuisine deep dives and interviews with locals for this destination. Please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to support us, and so we can bring you more like this. Kerry County, or, The Kingdom, as it's often referred to by the Irish, is one of the most scenic areas in Ireland, and among its leading tourist destinations. This county boasts the most spectacular views of mountains, lakes and over 600 miles of Atlantic coastline. It is rich with history, archaeological sites, ancient castles and majestic landscapes. There are so many interesting places to see, and things to do. Killarney is the center of the tourism industry, which is of the largest element of the economy in Kerry. The Kerry Way, Dingle Way and Beera Way are walking routes in the county, each with a unique set of attractions. In addition, the Ring of Kerry on the Ivra Peninsula is a popular route for tourists and cyclists. Most of the excitement or attraction for tourists is centered around Killarney, with the infamous Killarney National Park at the heart of the district. Along the scenic tours around the Ring of Kerry, the tourists line up to see the Muckris House and Gardens. The Ring of Kerry, a 111-mile circular route that's widely regarded as one of the top attractions in Ireland. It runs along the spectacular Ivra Peninsula, passing sandy beaches, rugged mountains, and ancient ruins along the way. Have your camera at the ready. County Kerry is the fifth largest county in Ireland, located in the southwest region, and forms part of the province of Munster. It is bordered by County Limerick to the east and County Cork to the southeast. The principal highlands of Kerry are among the highest mountains in Ireland and largely composed of sandstone. The county's terrain consists of a group of three to four Atlantic peninsulas of southwestern Ireland. These peninsulas consist of mountainous ridges, in places intersected by deep valleys and generally surrounded by lowlands. The four peninsulas are the Kerry Head Peninsula, the most northerly, being seven miles long, the Dingle Peninsula, which extends for nearly 40 miles, the Ivra Peninsula, being 30 miles long, and the Bira Peninsula, the most southerly one, which Kerry shares with Cork. This shared peninsula is formed from the Miss Kish and the Caha Mountains and stretches for a distance of 30 miles. The Megalacades Reeks, located near the picturesque lakes of Killarney, is one of the most beautiful mountain ranges in Ireland, offering unparalleled views of the Atlantic Ocean from the country's highest peak, Carantahill at 3409 feet. The Dingle Peninsula, popular with hillwalkers, stretches out into the Atlantic, ending at Dunmore Head, Ireland's westernmost point. Kerry means the people of Sire which was named after the pre-Gaelic tribe who lived in the area. The legendary founder of the tribe was Sire, son of Fergus MacRoich. In 1580, during the Second Desmond Rebellion, one of the most infamous massacres of the 16th century, the Siege of Smerwick, took place at the tip of the Dingle Peninsula. The 600-strong Italian, Spanish, and Irish papal invasion force, of James Fitzmaurice Fitzgerald, was besieged by the English forces and massacred. In the 18th and 19th centuries, Kerry became increasingly populated by poor tenant farmers, who came to rely on the potato as their main food source. As a result, when the season's potato crop failed in 1845, Kerry was very hard hit by the Great Irish Famine, from 1845 through 1849. In the wake of the famine, many thousands of residents starved or emigrated to seek a better life. In the 20th century, Kerry was one of the counties most affected by the Irish War of Independence, from 1919 to 1921, and Irish Civil War, from 1922 to 1923. In the War of Independence, the Irish Republican Army fought a guerrilla war against the Royal Irish Constabulary and British military. Kerry is not just a scenic destination, 
but a cultural center, attracting thousands of visitors to the many festivals and parades held throughout the year. These are long-held traditions across Ireland, filled with popular foods, music, dancing and live shows. Authentic Irish music incorporates fiddles, bagpipes, drums, flutes, and harps. Irish music can also be widely experienced in many local pubs. Every corner of Ireland has its own favorite dance, from jigs to reels to set dances. Irish step dancing is the most common performance dance, often characterized by its extremely rapid leg and foot movement. Irish people love nothing more than involving visitors at their local dances, teaching you the basic steps along the way. People don't mind at all, if you don't know the steps, as long as you give it a go. Kerry also has its share of ancient folklore such as magic spirits, Celtic goddesses and leprechauns. Folklore and legends are usually myths based on some credible facts and beliefs. When the Celts arrived in Ireland about 600 BC they brought with them the cornerstone of Irish folklore along with the Celtic language. Today the language is still alive, and with it the old sayings, songs, stories and customs. Even Gaelic place names can be very significant in terms of Celtic influence and folklore. Another influence on the area culture was the early arrival of Vikings, around the middle of the 10th century. Scandinavian traders and travelers from Denmark, Norway, and Sweden settled in, or developed a number of northern Irish towns. In Kerry, places such as Ballalongford, Smerwick Harbour, Beginish, and Dunmain have Viking connections. Kerry Ireland holds tight to the traditional Irish cuisine, along with some of the best seafood you'll ever experience. The local restaurants are cozy, and the people are the friendliest you'll meet anywhere. Having a good meal before exploring the scenic mountain paths and cliff edges is mandatory to maintain your energy levels. Don't prejudge some of the local pub food, as some of their food is as high quality as the higher-end restaurants in the area. Soda bread is a very popular and hearty kind of bread. It is usually served sliced and spread liberally with butter. Every family in Ireland has its own diverse recipes for soda bread. Sometimes including honey, sugar, dried fruit, bran or oats. However, the basic ingredients of bicarbonate of soda, buttermilk and flour are consistent. One pot cooking doesn't get much simpler than Irish stew, traditionally made with mutton, onions, potatoes and sometimes carrots. These days, you're more likely to find Irish stew made with lamb, with stock and herbs, such as thyme, parsley and bay leaves, adding a real depth of flavor. Potatoes transform the Irish diet when they were introduced from the New World in the late 16th century and are still a staple at most mealtimes. Colcannon is a classic, comforting mash of potatoes, cabbage and butter, flavored with spring onions. Champ is a similar, mashed potato favorite, flavored with spring onions, milk and butter. Boxty, also known as potato dumpling or potato pancake or potato bread are all popular menu items. Traditionally, made with a combination of mashed and grated potatoes mixed with seasonings and then boiled or fried. It is a common side dish with breakfast, lunch or dinner. Boiled bacon, boiled cabbage and boiled potatoes might not sound all that appetizing, but it remains a local favorite. A silky parsley sauce is the classic accompaniment. A slice of black and white pudding is commonly served together with an Irish breakfast. Black pudding is sausage made from pork meat, fat and blood mixed with barley, suet and oatmeal. White pudding is the same ingredients, but minus the blood. While enjoying some of the recommend local dishes suggested above, optionally try some of these popular local cocktails to get the full local experience. As its name suggests, Dingle Gin is very proud of its carry roots. Dingle Gin only uses botanicals found in the local landscape. Although categorized as London Dry, the gin is infused with rowanberry, fuchsia, bog myrtle, hawthorn, and heather. Murphy's Irish Stout is a stout brewed at the Murphy's Brewery in Cork, Ireland. In 1856 James J. Murphy, along with his brothers founded James J. Murphy & Company and began brewing. Most locals prefer it over the world-renowned Guinness brand. Cool Swan is a quality Irish cream liqueur. It is blended from the finest single malt Irish whiskey, sourced from one of Ireland's oldest distilleries, with real white Belgian chocolate and fresh natural dairy cream, to achieve their goal of creating a cream liqueur that was both smooth and original. According to Heineken Ireland, Orchard Thieves, a very sweet cider, was designed specifically for Irish taste buds, and was brewed, followed an extensive taste testing with over 1,000 consumers in Ireland.
Rural County Cary is home to so many stunning natural sites, like the Ring of Cary, the Dingle Peninsula and the Skellig Islands. It's also famous for Neolithic monuments, medieval castles, small museums and the world's oldest footprints. Some of the most popular tourist destinations in the area are the National Park, Torque Waterfall, or Gap of Dunlow in Killarney, the shopping and seafood restaurants in Dingle, and the museums and gardens in Tralee. Here is a list of activities we highly recommend. However, some of these will require an emergency rain code, some hiking skills and a moderate level of physical endurance. Karantal is a challenging climb for intermediate-level hikers. It rises to just over 1,000 meters, or 3,280 feet. At its peak, you'll find a huge iron cross and spectacular views across the Cary countryside. This is a great place to take pictures, to share with friends and family. The Ring of Kerry is not so much a single site as an entire circuit of rugged, rural beauty, this is the one tour that is the most talked about in Kerry. The Ring takes you around the Ivra Peninsula, past a host of gorgeous Atlantic views, quaint towns and rolling beaches. Ross Castle is a 15th-century lakeside castle in Killarney National Park. This castle gives visitors a taste of rural life centuries ago with its old-world charm. The stark structure contrasts nicely with the gentle lake before it, and when it's lit up at night, the castle is quite a sight to behold. The Muckris House is a luxurious 18th-century estate that has fantastic gardens and scenic lake views. The house was built for Henry Arthur Herbert in 1843. In 1861, it was completely renovated prior to Queen Victoria's visit. Dingle is a great place to explore and interact with the locals in town. It has some unique pubs, great restaurants and eclectic shopping boutiques. Dingle Bay is also a great experience, as well as the Rahanane Castle on the west side of the peninsula. Skellig Michael is a jagged, difficult-to-access island off the Kerry shoreline. It was once an isolated hermitage, but now well known for its iconic filming location in two infamous Star Wars movies. To get there, you'll need good summer weather and your climbing legs, but the hike is well worth it for the glorious views. More information on must-see locations in Kerry, Ireland, and additional recommendations, can be seen in the additional videos in this series. See the links in the comment section, for related videos, or from the World Travel YouTube channel catalog. Kerry, Ireland has some interesting fun facts that can add to your travel experiences, and you can even share with fellow travelers you meet along the way. Locals will appreciate your knowledge and can provide some interesting local perspectives on some of these facts. These can also be great topics for conversation starters. Kerry has been referred to by the nickname The Kingdom for over almost 2,000 years, with the first instance said to have dated back to 65 AD. Kerry means the people of Sire, in its original pre-Irish language, which was the name of the pre-Gaelic tribe who lived near the area of County Kerry, in Ireland. The Kerry cow is a rare breed of cattle believed to date as far back as 2000 BC and is thought to be the oldest breed of cattle in Europe. They are also believed to have been developed from the Celtic Shorthorn, a little black cow introduced to Ireland in Neolithic times. The Herbert spent so much money on preparing the Muck Ross House for Queen Victoria's visit in 1861 that they went bankrupt. Apparently, they thought that if they could impress Queen Victoria, she would repay them for their hospitality. The Kerry Crest motto is Comher, Cabher, Cardias, which translates to cooperation, help, and friendship. The blue and white mountains in the center of the Kerry Crest symbolize the Kerry Mountains, which are the highest in Ireland. Ireland's oldest thatched cottage can be found in Kerry and is over 300 years old. It is known as Sheehan's Thatched House at Finuge Cross near Listowel in County Kerry. One of the greatest ever Antarctic explorers, Tom Crean, was from County Kerry. He became famous for his role in the Discovery and Terra Nova expeditions to the South Pole and also as a member of Ernest Shackleton's mission on board the ship Endurance. The first transatlantic telegraph cable ran from Kerry to North America. Valencia Island in Kerry was the eastern terminus of the first commercially viable transatlantic telegraph cable which stretched from Valencia Island to Newfoundland in 1866. Valencia Island in Kerry can also proudly claim to be the location of the world's oldest footprints. They are believed to have belonged to a large amphibian who once walked there over 385 million years ago. Well every travel destination has some specific things you probably should and shouldn't do. 
Here is a list of these suggestions we have compiled from prior travelers to save you money or avoid unnecessary stress. Ireland is famous for its damp but unpredictable climate that can change quickly. So be sure to pack for multiple climates, wear layers, and to always keep a raincoat or a travel umbrella nearby. Rent a car to see the most of Ireland's countryside. Especially, if you're not up for hiking. Remember Ireland drives on the left side of the road. Murphy's Irish Stout maintains a loyal following throughout much of the country, and especially in its hometown of Cork. You can find it next to the Guinness in most Irish pubs, and you'll find that it has its own unique dark flavor. While travel to Ireland is very safe and crime rates are quite low, consider getting travel insurance before your trip. Traveling was fraught with risk even before the global health crisis, but these days you really don't want to take any chances. Ireland has a short and busy peak tourist season, July through August. So, if you plan to visit Ireland during this time, you will want to book your hotel and car in advance. Avoid incorrectly referring to the Republic of Ireland as part of Great Britain or the United Kingdom. Many locals will feel offended. While political conversations in pubs, among locals, may be intense, they are typically reluctant to discuss their political, religious, social, and economic views with outsiders. Anyone who has traveled to Kerry, Ireland will tell you that it is like no other place in the world. An area trapped in time with historic castles, ancient artifacts, scenic mountains and endless beaches. The people, scenery and experiences to be had here will leave a lasting imprint on your soul. It is no wonder this amazing place is called the kingdom, and those who have the luxury of calling it home are so strong and proud. We hope you really enjoy your trip to Kerry, Ireland, and are able to take in as much as possible of this amazing travel destination. Thanks for watching this video, and be sure to look out for more great content on this channel. In the future we will be adding more travel destinations, tours, interviews with local residents, recommendations and travel tips. Like this video, if you enjoyed it to help support the creation of more content like this. Subscribe to help out this channel, and get notified when new videos are published. Donate and join the World Travel Patreon group, to support the development of new content on this channel, chat with other travelers, get real-time notifications on travel-related discounts and travel alerts. Check out the comment section below the video for special deals, and discounts from partners and sponsors we trust.